It's just the future is here, a new industrial revolution at the Design Museum in London. And it's an exploration of digital manufacturing techniques and the change that they will bring in terms of the objects that we use and the way that they're made. I think recent inventions such as 3D printing have actually led to the combination of techniques really changing the way that we make things. 3D printing is a technology that um, we hear about all the time now, but in a way it's something that's still a bit of an enigma to most people on the streets, I think. So what the exhibition's kind of key point is to try and actually explain that to visitors and really help them understand what 3D printing is, how it works, and actually how it could be of use to them. I mean, one of the key themes is actually using digital networks that underpin a lot of these systems and uh, manufacturing technologies. And crowdsourcing is a really important one of them. So to illustrate this, we partnered with Made.com, the online um, furniture manufacturing and distributing company. And we uh, crowdsourced a sofa. So we actually asked people to submit designs for a new compact sofa that were posted on their website. And then we drew on social networks and asked them to vote on their favourites. So we had over 10,000 votes to choose the winning design. And then Made actually got the um, sofa ready to production in the form that's ready for the exhibition. I think digital manufacturing can potentially have a huge impact on not just from a consumer side of things, but actually from the designer. And it's to do with intellectual property and the rights that designers have to do with their own products. I think if we were able to take a digital scan of something and email it across the world and produce it locally, we can actually kind of miss out the manufacturer these days. We can take an object that someone else has made, scan it in and have it duplicated. And that has huge implications. So people can actually now download um, digital designs and make them themselves as long as they have no commercial use for the product. However, if there is a commercial use, then they pay a license to the designer. We have a section of the wiki house in the corner of the exhibition and that's uh, created by a group of architects called Zero Zero and that's open source design and it's available under Creative Commons licensing. So you can actually go onto their website, you can design the components to make, you can have them digitally manufactured and you can build the wiki house yourself. There are a huge amount of uh, products and objects and stories that we had to choose from when putting the exhibition together. I think the key thing we did at the beginning, the most important thing, was to talk to as many people as we possibly could and find out as much about the subject. And that involved contacts that we had from the museum, from industry, from designers, and actually find out what other people think is the important things to show.